In this quick tutorial, we will create two different head takes. What is an head take? It's a very fast reaction with a change of expression and mood. We will create a more soft take and another one more extreme and cartoony. This tutorial is based on the principle of squash stretch that I explained in the lesson 7. Let's start from the soft one. We set the two key poses with a certain expression, you can do the expression you prefer. And the last one that is really important, you can decide the type of reaction. In this case I choose the surprise expression, but it could be a scared one or an angry take as you want. So the first pose at frame 1 and the last one at frame 18. The timing is approximately, you can test and choose your own timing. For the moment we just have the interpolation between these two poses. Let's go to work in between. We had a little anticipation of the head, just 2-3 frames, where the head and chest go up a little bit, the eyelids and brows open more, and we start to use the squash control, just stretching a little bit the head. We have this little anticipation and now we can go to create the breakdown with the extreme squashed pose. The chest and the head go down, so we have a translation downward for the entire body. The eyes are closed. Keep attention to create this sort of curve of the eyes, not this one. We need the feeling as the eyes are squashed between the brows and cheeks. So if you have cheeks control, I suggest you to use it. The mouth also squashed and the shoulders go up preparing the push that will help the body to go up. Around frame 12, as I say, the timing could be a bit different depending on the type of take. We have the extreme stretch pose with the final expression. The head is visibly stretched, all the parts of the face are stretched. The brows reach the highest position, the eyes are wide opened. Uh, you can reduce the size of the pupils for a few frames. The mouth opens and the shoulders are widely downbanded, giving the feeling that the neck stretch pushing the head upward. Now we had an in-between after the stream squash pose, two frames after this one, where the chest and head start to translate upward, but the head rotation have a bit of delay. So we rotate downward the head. To have a more contrast with the following stretched pose, we still squash a bit the head on this frame. The eyes are still squashed and the shoulders start to push downward. Now we reduce the spacing of the extreme stretched pose to keep it for more frames, to make it more readable before we go to the last pose. We add an in-between, 2-3 frames after the stretched pose, around frame 14, and here the chest start to go down, but the head continue to be stretched and rotate upward, contrasting the downward movement of the chest. The brows and eyes are still wide opened and the mouth start to settle. Last, we made the final settle of the head and chest in around 5-10 frames, and that's it. Let's do the other variation, the one more cartoony and extreme, where we keep the stretched pose as final one. The process is the same, but now the stretched pose became the last key pose. And we go to slow down the spacing in this part. We add an in-between at frame 12, where we have the head almost stretched. So between frame 12 and frame 18, we keep the stream stretched pose that now is more visible and the effect is more emphasized. You could also add, as in this example, a little head rotation left and right to emphasize more, like a little shake. So any two frames we add a little rotation on Y for the head. That is all. You can also find the exercise based on this tutorial so you can experiment yourself.